Hi, I'm Casey Shillam, and I'm the director of the Western Washington University's RN to BSN program here in Bellingham, Washington. And I'm here today to share some exciting news with you about the pathways in nursing education so that we can have a better support system for nurses to continue on to get their bachelor's, master's, and even their doctorates. The important thing to recognize from this slide about the nursing workforce is the number of nurses practicing at the master and doctoral levels is really small in comparison to those practicing at the baccalaureate or the associate degree level. In order for us to be able to build our cadre of masters and doctorally prepared nurses, we have to start at preparing those with associate's degrees and getting them into bachelor's programs. So most of the traditional pathways that we see that go in for nurses to get into practice um, occur at the diploma level, the associate's degree level, or the bachelor's level. And these are all ways in which people can actually enter into the nursing workforce. Some emerging entry points for nursing practice include that of the accelerated baccalaureate, where people come in with a bachelor's degree in another discipline and get the bachelor's of science in nursing in a much shorter time frame, as well as the accelerated master's program, where again, they may have a bachelor's degree in another discipline, but come in and get the baccalaureate and the master's level competencies in one program. We also see a number of RN completion programs where we might have returning veterans coming in with the um, LPN scope of practice who come and actually get uh, a registered nursing degree or come in to get a Bachelor of Science degree. When you think about these pathways in nursing education, it would seem pretty simple that one could go from a registered nurse diploma program or a registered nurse associate degree program, transition straight into a bachelor's, and then go on to get a master's and a doctorate. In reality, unfortunately, this is what we often see, and that's someone coming in at an LPN, practicing for 10, sometimes 12 years. Then they may go on to get their registered nursing degree. Then they practice another 10 or 12 years, and then we have an even fewer number who go on to get a bachelor's degree. And eventually, we may get about 1% of those who get a master's degree. And then by the time they're finished with that, they're exhausted and they retire and never even think about going on to pursue a doctorate. So if we're gonna streamline this pathway of getting nurses from their associate's degree to their bachelor's, moving on to their master's and getting their doctorate, we have to think about how we support one another doing that differently. So some of the pathways we may see us supporting each other on are from the RN to BSN program, which is what we have here at Western Washington University. We also see that we need to support one another in going on to get master's degrees, whether those are in education, leadership and policy, getting a Master's of Business Administration, or pursuing an Advanced Practice degree. This can include those who are looking for scope of practice as a nurse practitioner, a clinical nurse specialist, even a nurse midwife. And looking at the differentiation between the doctoral degrees for nursing, we have the Doctorate of Nursing Practice, which is the clinical terminal degree. So those are really for scholars who are in clinical or administrative roles. And then we have the Doctorate of Philosophy, or the PhD. This is the traditional doctoral degree that we think of for those in research and in academics. The important point to remember about both of these doctoral levels of education for nursing is that they should work in partnership with one another. Those researchers with a PhD developing and creating new knowledge so that those with a DNP can incorporate that knowledge into practice and help improve the care of patients that we serve. As you can see, there are multiple pathways for nurses to continue their education, and Western has a commitment to supporting all nurses to continue their lifelong learning path, no matter where that takes them.